That's right. All right, here we go. Virgo. Virgo, it says, ooh, be careful, Virgo. There's things you may be doing right now that could bring you to your knees. In other words, uh, and if you are already brought to your knees, time to reevaluate some things. So there's still good things that are waiting for you, but at this point right now, you need to start picking yourself back up if that's what's going on with you. Virgo, en español, quiere decir que tal vez ten cuidado con las cosas alrededor de ti, que tal vez te puedan traer arrodillada con problemas o con otras cosas, problemas de tu corazón. Dice, si eso ya está pasando, todavía hay dos copas, hay que pararte otra vez y seguir para adelante. Next. Libra. Libra. Ooh, Libra. Libra, this is interesting. Libra is talking about uh, possible being a mom. Uh, if you're a Libra and you're, you know, I'm, you could be any age, I'm not talking shit. But if you're a Libra and you're thinking about getting pregnant, right now is the time because you're fertile myrtle. Oh. So Libra, that's just something for you to keep in mind. Uh, it's time for you to consummate whatever it is you want to make. Uh, Libra en español quiere indicar que tal vez uh, si estás tratando o quieres embarazarte para Libra, ahora es el tiempo. Ahorita es muy posible, so uh, ten cuidado. Y si no quieres embarazarte, ten cuidado, okay? Who we got next? Scorpio. Scorpio. Scorpio, it says that there are things from the past that can come back to haunt you. Although there's good things in the past as well, there's things that you may not want people to see. And so if that's the case, make sure that you don't go back to certain places where it's going to be revealed or certain people. Careful with that. All right. Uh, Spanish is um, Scorpio. Scorpio en español quiere indicar que tal vez hay que tener cuidado con cosas del pasado. Hay cosas malas, pero también hay cosas muy buenas. Tal vez que tú hiciste, pero nunca quieres que alguien se da cuenta. Pero ten cuidado, porque si traes una persona para atrás en tu vida que era de antes, te puede revelar todas las cosas que, que hiciste en el pasado. Ten cuidado. Next. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Uh, I need a drink. Hey, they hit 12,000 already. We haven't done a drink. Deep breathe, Deep breathe everybody. Oh. Here we go. It'll be good. It'll be Sagittarius. Good. Yay! Sagittarius, it seems like everything's about to become complete. As you look out and you kept wondering what the hell was going on, it's that you hadn't really found your niche or you haven't really decided what you wanted to do in your life. And now it seems like you know where you're headed. So everything is coming complete for you. Sagitario en español quiere indicar que las cosas ya se van completando en tu vida y por mucho tiempo estaba pasando las cosas medio raras y eso es porque tal vez no te decidiste. Y ya que tú has decidido, decidido en dónde quieres ir en tu vida, en las cosas que quieres ser, dice, todo se va a completar para ti. Dice, todavía tienes que tener un poquito de defensa, pero vas a estar bien. No te preocupes. Next. Capricorn. Ooh, Capricorn. Capricorn, it says, uh, you may be taking a trip overseas or over water. Uh, there's something that's coming up that says that or you're going to leave someone behind. But it is saying that there is a trip coming up. So that might be a good thing, Capricorn. Maybe this summer, that would be kind of nice. Capricorn, you're kidding. Indicar que tal vez vas a tener un viaje, pero sobre agua, entonces vas a ir viajar lejos. O tal vez estás dejando una persona atrás, una relación, algo, pero tú vas a viajar. Okay? Next. Aquarius, here we go. Ooh, Aquarius. It says, Aquarius, there's burden on your back. It says, but with that burden comes knowledge. It says, and that burden is going away. So the burden that has been on your back is going to leave. As you make better decisions in your life and you do better things, the burden that you're carrying becomes your defense mechanism, which is a really good thing. Oh, that's awesome. It's not a bad reading. Um, Aquarius, can you que tal vez... A las cosas, hay cosas pesadas en tu espalda, entonces problemas, situaciones, pero eso ya viene pasando. Dice, y las cosas que has aprendido de todas las situaciones te van a hacer más fuerte para que puedas pelear adelante. Next. Pisces. Pisces, it says, the sun is going to shine for you, Pisces. It's like the sun's already shining. In other words, good things are coming, uh, the, things are moving around perfectly for you, and you don't even realize that all your relationships are falling into place, and also all your economic things. So, you're in a good place right now, you don't have nothing to worry about. Uh, Pisces en español quiere indicar que tal vez el sol va a salir para ti, las cosas van redando perfectamente, y todo ya se va aclarando en tu vida, y por lo pronto, todo está bien. Next. Aries. Aries. Aries, it says, there are three things you need to work on. Those are the three things you need to evaluate in yourself, Aries. It says money can be one of them, but also could be relationship and family. 
You need to have balance, Aries, so be very careful that you don't just focus on money and hard work, but you're focusing on balance in your life. No good in having all the money if you're not happy. Uh, Aries, right? Aries quiere indicar que tal vez um, dice que hay tres cosas que tienes necesitas arreglar. Tal vez el amor, tal vez el dinero, tu carrera o las cosas que estás haciendo, y tal vez tu familia. Y tienes que tener balance para que tú puedas salir adelante y vencer tus problemas. Dice, pero por lo pronto, no te nuevas te enfocas en el dinero. Enfócate en la gente y la balance de toda tu familia y todo para que tú estés bien. Porque lo último, si tienes todo el dinero y no estás feliz, no vale la pena. Next. Taurus. Taurus, it says, something is about to come to an end. You may not realize it, but it's about to happen. So Taurus, be very careful. There's an end that's coming for you, and it's kind of saying, um, rest assured of that. There is a uh, source being pointed at you, so something's happening, just be very careful. Tauro quiere indicar que tal vez algo viene terminando, y de seguro dice, ten cuidado con la gente alrededor de ti, que te quieren poner los cuchillos, y te pueden causar muchos problemas. So Tauro, ten mucho cuidado ahorita. Next. Gemini. Gemini, it says, um, that there's going to be a relationship that evolves for you. This could be a relationship with a girl or a guy or a friend or it could be whatever. But this relationship is going to lead to opportunities in your life. So if you meet someone new, maybe you should take some interest and get the, take the time to get to know them. Even if it's not a romantic interest, but take the time to know them. Because they may be a network for a lot of different things for you. Um, Gemini is getting the... i got to remember the Spanish name. Gemini is getting the car que tal vez... Viene una relación, puede ser de hombre, mujer, cualquier cosa, de familia, alguien, uh, pero vas a conocer a alguien y vas a tener una relación uh, y ellos te van a traer muchas oportunidades, uh, muchas cosas que te pueden ayudar y aunque tú no quieres uh, tal vez conocer más gente o no quieres tener más amigos, esta persona va a valer la pena porque te van a ayudar a salir adelante en las cosas que tú no puedes tentar. Okay? Next. Cancer. Cancer. Cancer, it says, interesting. Cancer is talking about um, things being incomplete, things that have fallen apart on you. Uh, but it also says that there's cups here uh, that are standing, which means in all the falling apart, you're still standing. So Cancer, you should know that now is the time to capitalize on what's left standing. The bad has fallen by its side, and the good stuff is standing. Cancer in Spanish can indicate that tal vez hay cosas que están incompletas en tu vida. De tu vida, tu vida. Y tal vez no estás viendo que todavía hay copas paradas en tu vida, cosas buenas en tu vida. Y ya que lo malo se ha ido de tu vida, hay que empezar algo nuevo para que tú también puedas salir. Adelante. Next. Leo. Leo, it says, ooh, Leo. Leo, it says, be careful with not celebrating too much, partying, doing stuff. It could turn you upside down. It also says to be careful with three women in your life. They could be friends, they could be girlfriends, they could be people from your work, they could be someone and whatever, but it's trying to tell you, be careful because they're upside down with you and they're going to come after you. So make sure you watch your back and don't tell them anything. If you know there's three people are, don't say anything in front of them because they're going to use it against you. Um, Leo, en español quiere indicar que tal vez que no debes estar celebrando mucho, tirando party ahorita. Por cualquier razón, pero al mismo tiempo indica que hay tres mujeres que están volteadas contigo. Pueden ser de trabajo, pueden ser de una relación, o familia, o lo que sea. Ten cuidado en lo que dices, porque te, te lo van a usar para causarte problemas. Ten mucho cuidado. ¿Ok? Ok, esos son los horóscopos, los horóscopos. Guys.